So what is really going on in the Middle East? Russia supplies all of Europe with gas. The American Zionist goal was to compete with Russia and the Nabucco West Pipeline. The aim of the Nabucco Pipeline is to diversify the natural gas suppliers and delivery routes for Europe, thus reducing European dependence on Russian energy. The main supplier was expected to be Iraq, with potential supplies from Azerbaijan, Turkmenistan, and Egypt. Russia had other plans and did a backdoor deal with Turkmenistan and bought 80% of the gas for 10 years. Iran also did not agree with the pipelines going through its territories, so they preferred to go through Iraq and Syria. The project didn't go ahead because the cost of the gas would have ended up higher than Russia so it failed. Now the US. Israel and their allies were thinking of another way and came up with the Gulf puppet state, Qatar. They wanted the pipeline to go through Syria then through to Turkey then on to Europe. Syria did not agree. The rest is bloody history. Qatar and Saudi Arabia under the authority of the Zionist-controlled US funded all the terrorist activities against the Assad government. With the Zionist-run world media empire, the cover story for this bloodshed was covered by fairy tale stories to the 96% of the walking zombies across the globe. Turkey is one of the US puppet regimes who agreed to this project, because it would have received over $603 million in payment for the pipeline to cut through Turkey. Turkey would have also have got the gas cheaper than they are currently getting from Iran. Meanwhile in Syria, things are going well for the Syrians on the ground. In less than 90 days the Syrians will have a force of 150,000 newly trained volunteers, ranging in age from 18 to 26, to augment their regular army. This will greatly increase Syria's ability to respond quickly to attacks from NATO's mercenaries. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu, while in Shanghai, was given a sharp dressing down by Russian President Vladimir Putin, a warning that Russia would not tolerate further Israeli attacks on Damascus and would respond. Both Netanyahu and Secretary of State John Kerry wanted Russia to back down from their support for Syria. And fortunately for us, they were sent home with a stern warning. The Russians have sent 12 additional ships into the Mediterranean. A game changer. Their state-of-the-art missiles which they made a top priority in their defense policy as the new missiles are revolutionizing the next generation of warfare. The ships will be carrying their state-of-the-art weapons like the S-400s, where a pilot only has two or three seconds to live, once the beep beep, that they are locked onto at tremendous speeds. The Russian ships on patrol will be able to shoot any attacking Israeli planes down including those returning to base post-attack. They can even be shot down while taking off. Israel's days of roaming freely over Lebanon airspace and their ability to launch air flight munitions without entering Syrian territory will be over. Any retaliatory strike by Israel would trigger a full response by the Russians that could include their bases and command structure. Their updated Iskander missiles are stated to have speeds in the Mach 6 to 7 range, but our sources say over Mach 8. To evade anti-missile fire they can pull 30 plus G-turns and make a 90 degree dive onto a target while doing so. The Israeli bullies have never had to stand up to a modern military but they may get their chance. Remember Judaism and Zionism are not the same thing. Let me repeat what I have been saying for years. There will be no war against Iran. Through sanctions Iran has developed their own arms making industry. They have advanced technology that can bring down the most sophisticated drones. 
They also possessed scalar and EMP technology that can stop a high-tech ship in its tracks, not only a ship but can shut Israel's cities down. They did electronically hijack that CIA drone which Obama demanded they return. Instead the Iranians have built new drones with advanced attack and surveillance capabilities. They even have a new stealth drone. Iran, Syria and Hezbollah have at least 150,000 missiles they can fire at Israel and at US forces in the region. They can sink every US ship in the Persian Gulf and the Eastern Mediterranean. They can take out all 35 US military bases in the region ranging from Afghanistan and Iraq to Bahrain and Turkey. Iran has lots of Mach 3 solid fuel missiles with advanced guidance systems. They have Russian-made anti-ship missiles and high-speed supercavitating torpedoes. They have 130-mile-range rocket artillery with 1,322-pound warheads. Our ships would be blown out of the water in the first 90 seconds. All 35 of our bases would cease to function in 5 minutes. And things look even worse for Netanyahu on the Israeli front against Lebanon and Syria. Hezbollah has at least 50,000 missiles they can fire if attacked. So why is Russia, China, and Iran backing Syria? Are you ready for the answer? Syria has discovered that it has the biggest gas reserve in the whole world. They found 14 oil fields in the Syrian territorial waters. They discovered the main center of the gas in Qara Syria near Homs. Only four of the oil fields can produce as much as Kuwait in one day alone. 1.6 million barrels a day. According to this doctor, researcher, the company called ANSYS and JTEC that found these oil fields were later bought by the US so the US know about this find. Are you starting to put the dots together? UK, France, Israel and its allies all want a piece of the action but has so far failed. Israel also discovered oil and gas to be self-sufficient and can also export as well, but they have only one-tenth of what Syria has discovered. Over 100,000 Syrians have been killed by the invading thugs. They have butchered unarmed women and children. They have burned down mosques and churches. They gouged out the eyes of priests, cut and eaten the hearts of soldiers all in the name of oil and money under the disguise of a revolution. They died for the elite Rothschild bankers, Zionists, Illuminists, all in the name of oil. The financing of extremist religious terrorists directed by Mossad and other intelligence agencies throughout the world. All the puppets of the world have been paid off with the blood of innocent women and children. This is the curse of Syria.